Hello, hello. A lot of you have been asking me to solo build a base in Anvil Empires, so I'm gonna do it on an island today. I don't know how difficult this is going to be with resources, but I guess we'll find out. This pre-alpha test was the May 2nd and May 3rd test. Unfortunately, I was only able to play one day of that test. The next test will be May 16th and May 17th, and it'll be a PvP test. If you haven't already, make sure you join the Anvil Discord. This is how you get an invite to the pre-alpha test. I'll put a link in the description below. For this solo build, I did cheat a little bit. I spawned in a pretty populated town that was well developed, and I did steal some resources such as an axe and some food so I could survive longer. So if I didn't have these resources right away, it probably would have taken me a little bit longer to gather all of the resources needed. On my way to finding a boat, I make sure to gather enough branches because I'm going to need a lot of branches to establish the base. Branches are going to make that initial gathering pit, and then I'm going to be able to start making twigs as well off of the workbench. I was able to find a boat off the shore here. It wasn't near any bases, so I don't think I'm stealing it, but I'll just say I'm liberating it and taking it for myself to the island. I am going to this island up north here. I'm hoping that no one is there already with an established base, because that's where I want my base to be. So here we go. All right, we have made it to the island. Let's take a look around. So far, there's a few trees. I haven't noticed any players or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna have the island to myself, it looks like. A lot of rock heads here. Looks like a lot of rocks for cover as well. I won't need a wall over here to cover this probably. Now, a few trees over here I might be able to take advantage of as well. I don't think I want to build the base over here. Oh, kind of stuck. Running up hills is so awkward in this game. I get stuck in the most random places. Yeah, this rock head hopefully serves as a nice defense. Or at least it hides my base. I think I'm going to put it on the other side here. You can pretty much just jump up every jump up anything in this game. Some more trees, which is nice. I am not seeing a lot of wildlife, which is good. No wolves or bears. And this is pretty much the whole island. So this is a nice size. Oh, there's a deer. Nice. Some more trees. That's good. I'm not seeing any twigs, though, or branches. That's going to be an issue. I'm going to have to go back to the mainland for some branches. Caught on the hill again. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the mainland for some branches. But uh, it's a pretty nice island overall. I like the size of it. It'd be cool if there was some like rare resource here uh, in future updates. Alright, let's get to building here. Build the main gathering pit. There we are. Oh, i got to stand out of the way here. Just like blueprints in Foxhole. Oh, that's right. I need twigs. I have branches right now, so I got to build the uh, the workbench, I believe. Let's see if I can find that. Just build the workbench right here. Try and make this as aesthetically as pleasing as possible. I'm not a city planner. I never really played any of those city planning games like SimCity or anything like that, so I will be a terrible city planner for this game. Queue up some twigs here. And I'm going to have to go back to the mainland, like I said earlier, and get some more. And we're off to get some more branches since my island spawns none of them. We are back at the workbench from gathering branches. We will queue them up to make them into twigs. It's kind of like making salvage into bee mats and foxhole. And we'll wait for these to complete so we can build our gathering pit. The twigs are done making. Now we're going to start building our gathering pit. Put it right here in the middle. Again, I'm going to be really bad with this spacing. The gathering pit is that main town hall base that you always see in the trailers and basically in the middle of every single city in Anvil. 
Hmm. Now for the most important part, to choose a town name. I think Crow Hill sounds best since I'm up north and kind of on an island hill. All right, now I need to build a little hut for myself. This is going to be my player house where I can store any personal items that I want. Even though I think I'm probably going to be the only person on this island. So we can put this pretty much anywhere we want. Again, not the best <laughs> city planner. Um, they make building pretty easy in this game, which is really nice. Yeah, right here should do just fine. You can see here in the gathering pit UI on the right hand side towards the top that I am the founder of this base essentially. So that means I kind of have the options to demolish things if I want and kind of change things around as well. I of course ran out of twigs again so I need to head back to the mainland to get some. I have returned with some twigs. That is one of the downsides of this small little island and living on this small little island is that no twigs spawn, or branches I should say, no branches spawn, so I have to keep going back to the mainland to get some. It would be really helpful if there was a spot that branches spawned. We'll get this nice little cooker going so I can start cooking some food. Next we will build the lumber yard so I can start using my axe to chop down some trees and then I can start refining those trees into planks. This is definitely one of the most tedious parts of the game so far. Gathering wood so far is definitely not my favorite part of Anvil. Hopefully they make it a little bit easier or a little less tedious. I think if trees grew quicker, it would be a lot better as well. Next, I'm going to be placing this banner down. It's going to allow me to build further out. So you see the blue circles there. Once I finish completing this banner, which takes 20 planks, it'll let me build structures further out from the main base, which is that gathering pit. And I'm trying to build a couple banners clear out towards the sand so I can build a wall to keep people out. We have gone into the future and gathered 20 more planks so I can place down another banner. You can see that I can only place the banners within the circles before. I can't place them further out so I have to place them in the, the circles that I can build before. So I've been placing this second banner out and it reaches just barely out to the beach there where I'm going to be able to build a wall. I just wanted to show you all real quick that Crow Hill does show up on the map and everyone can see that my base is up here on this island and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what I'm doing up here. <laughs> Let's get started and actually build the wall here. I'm going to build the gate first. You can see it has a little arrow showing where the gate is going to open up. So I will build it this direction and it only takes twigs to build which is really nice. So this is just the tier one wall. Once I get this gate down, I'll be able to build the fence. And it feels really smooth to build the fence just to like pull it out like this. And they are like individual pieces, so each one is still going to take two twigs there, and then you can slowly build it out. So our banner, it looks like, is leaving a little gap on the right over there. So I'll have to build another banner to cover that area eventually but I'm just gonna leave this gate as is for now. Maybe it'll intimidate enemies and they'll think they're trapped out there. Again, I think this rock face keeps a lot of enemies out, or at least I hope it, they'll think that they are shut out. Um, I did jump back here earlier, <laughs> so we'll see, but it just looks cool. So I'll keep the rocks over here. I won't worry about walling this in just yet. Hello. Hi. Are you coming to check out my island base? Yeah, I just needed some logs. That's a nice base you have, by the way. Oh, thank you. You're taking logs from my island? <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> I barely got any trees over here, man. I know. <laughs> Rude. 
it's more just to it's just more for looks you know <laughs> yeah i mean it looks nice it's a little as what you have here yeah thanks it's only taken me like an hour to do all this, which is kind of nice. Jesus. This probably was a bitch to set up. Yeah, not too bad. It started with some decent trees. The only thing is that twigs don't spawn over here on this island, which stinks. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I don't know why they have that in the code that twigs don't like spawn at all. Uh, I think those are like hand. Like they have a bash and they just paint. Oh, where sure. Where they want them uh -huh. to be able to spawn. Yeah, it's definitely not on this island. E. Well, thanks for stealing my wood. <laughs> uh, I do need a new axe. My axe is getting kind of low. You want to just trade me axes? Huh? 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 Uh oh, I picked up wood for you. I'm not gonna give you that axe. <laughs> well, thanks. Make sure you just plant. Can you plant the seeds down again at least? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Wait, are we enemies? I the yeah, I can submit. Oh, I thought the gold letters meant you were on the same side as me. Well, thanks for not pillaging my base. Oh, no, no, it's, it's a fucking building test. It's not a... Yeah. It's, everyone should have fun. Yeah. I'm excited for the PvP one. That should be good. E. <laughs> <laughs> So we can capture and force labor, you know? I love this game sometimes. <laughs> we should probably build a little wall over here, huh? <laughs> uh, it's very finicky to get up on. I feel like you can jump up on, like, almost anything. Thanks for your help, friend. Yeah, have fun. You as well. Cheers. I am really surprised that that guy did not kill me. But uh, he was a lot of help. He helped me get cut those trees down really quickly, so we were able to get some planks really fast. Now we're able to upgrade our gathering pit to the tier 2 town hall. Even though that guy came and helped me, can I still say that this is a solo base? Question mark? <laughs>
Someone answered my distress signal! Hello! You just ta mind taking me across? Could you sail down towards uh, Mistholm by chance? A little south? If that's not too out of your way? Hello? Oh, there we go. Nice. Hell yeah. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, no worries. I'm uh, I'm actually building at Stafford too, on uh, Minnow Island. So I'm I think were you on Crow Hill? Was that your island? Yep, yep. That's my base that I'm building right now. Nice. My so boat's it's up tough here. being on an island alone. It is, and I got raided over here and killed, and I only had the one boat. So. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know there was PVP. Oh yeah, people came let in. Let like, me see what's going on here. Yeah, I think they're good now. Oh sh This is actually the biggest town I've been to this. Uh, this test. That's pretty good. Zico, did you guys get killed by those people? Then? There's like a bunch of wolves that killed me. I'm trying to see if I can find some seeds to take back to uh, the island. Oh yeah. They might give you some if you ask maybe or... Let me see if I can find a farm. See you later. Later. I, think, I recognize your name. You make, you make YouTube videos, right? Yep, I sure do. Oh, yeah, dude, I've watched your fossil videos. They're awesome. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So this has been my adventure, building a solo base on an island. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it actually didn't take me too long to build everything that I've built here. Probably about an hour and a half, honestly. And that was with me running back and forth to the mainland to get twigs. So if you want to build a solo base on the mainland, you can probably do it a lot faster. And then obviously if you want to get people involved, you're going to be able to build the base faster as well. But I liked this little island. Uh, it had a lot of unique features to it, and I actually liked being the only person on it. I wasn't bothered really by anybody. I never meant for this to be a really in-depth building guide or anything like that. Uh, Freerick, a Foxhole YouTuber, already has a great guide out. So I'm going to link his video in the description, so I really recommend going and watching his video if you want to see the little specifics to building bases. Uh, he has a really great video out right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Once building becomes a little bit more fleshed out, I will have more specific guides on how to build. As always, I really appreciate all of you watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Anvil content. What are you looking forward to the most with building? Would you build an island base by yourself? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to see you all out on the battlefield during the next pre-alpha test. Cheers.